Alright guys, quick disclaimer, this video was recorded a couple days ago before the world officially ended and every single stock and investment completely plummeted. So, uh, I've put a bunch of screenshots and stuff from dates that I grabbed these images and things. So everything's labeled and everything's edited together. The points still make sense. The numbers are just a little bit off here and there. But all my points are still 100% what I would have said no matter what. Yo, what's going on, Mr. Bank? And today we got a brand new video this time looking at Apple and Tesla stock. And you're going to have to bear with me. This blinds are just shining through and I got nothing to do with it, nothing to fix it. So that's what it's going to have to be. But we'll talk about Apple and Tesla stock and which one you might want to be involved in, one or the other, and why and why not, and all those types of things. So. Uh, let's just jump right into it. So, as you can see on here, Apple um, right now in the market around that range. And it's actually down for today, but not as down as Tesla is. Let's get a real-time look at Tesla. So, Tesla is down like over 7% today, and Apple is down about 2%. Uh, but the big difference between these right now are after these splits, Apple is above its split price of 125 and Tesla is below its split price of 450 But there's a different, Tesla obviously offered their $5 billion in stocks they sold. So, uh, not sold, they got an investor or something to buy $5 billion. So now they have that money to, to execute stuff, which in the short term is going to affect Tesla negatively because obviously they're selling shares. In the long term, they'll have that money to deploy on capital, reinvest in the company, get cars going, get solar going, you know, do all that types of stuff. Um, and when you look at these two, the main difference that I would say between Apple and Tesla is how risky you want to be. So if you want a very risky investment, one that might boom or might pull back very harsh, you want to be in Tesla. You want that one, it's super risky, obviously more risk, more reward, but then there's more of a chance that you might lose your money. So um, an easy way to look at this obviously is just the fundamentals of companies. Apple has been profitable every quarter for who knows how long. Like, it's literally been forever since Apple's not been profitable. If they've ever not been. I don't even know if, if they came on the market and were profitable. But Tesla obviously just recently cleared its third quarter in a row. Either third or fourth quarter in a row of profitability. Which is good and huge. But it's not Apple status. So that's where more risk comes from. Uh, they have a higher risk of not having a profitable quarter. Especially if cars slow down or if their services slow down. And when we look at Apple's reports, you see obviously their hardware speeding up. They're selling more phones, they're selling more MacBooks, their services are growing. Everything about the company is just doing great. So there's nothing to really complain about Apple there, but Tesla is where you come into a little bit more of a risk. So an easy way to compare this, these two to each other, uh, because I don't think anyone should be pricing Tesla as a car company. Uh, let's just look at the, I don't know, let's look at Ford, Ford Motors. Uh, they have, okay, can't see their price earnings, that's cool. But I mean a market cap of 27 something billion and Tesla is over 400 billion. So they're just completely different. I mean, I would look at Tesla as more of a tech company using cars as hardware, like Apple, would be a tech company using iPhones as hardware to use sell their iOS. And then you can only get iOS on Apple devices. You can only get a Tesla experience with a Tesla car. So that's the big like comparison with technology and how Tesla's not really a car company. But if we look at Tesla right here, you will see the price to earnings ratio is an absolutely insane 1,170, which is ridiculous. That means you're paying 1,170 times their earnings for the price of the stock right now. So that is insane. I don't think, I have never seen anything this high. It's extremely, it's valued very high. Is it overvalued? 
could be. People like Tesla, they like the company, and they really like Elon Musk, and I think he has a very good you know, way to direct the company and bring in money and shift things around and run a company successfully, and he's shown that through Tesla. And I think Tesla is going to start seeing more profitability, selling more cars, uh, getting their services going. They're going to bring in more money over time. I, don't, I think that's going to happen, and maybe the short term is a little turbulent, but the long term on Tesla is looking pretty good. So if you look at Apple's price to earnings ratio, their PE ratio is going to be about 38, which means you're paying 38 times their earnings for their stock price. And that is on par, a little bit lower than other companies in tech. Uh, so, I mean, we can look at another one here. We can look at Microsoft and they have a PE ratio of 39.78. So they are above my, above Apple and Microsoft doesn't have the cash flow Apple has. So when you're looking at those these companies, PE ratio can be a big thing. A lot of determining factors on that. But even more interesting is we can go to this other website and both Apple and Tesla are both above analyst price targets, which is kind of funny to look at. Um, but the Apple you can see is 9.71% above their price, the average price target of 118. Uh, I don't think Apple is going to go down to 118. Yeah, we all thought. Unless something catastrophic happens. And then we can look up Tesla here. And Tesla is 36% over the average pricing. Um, but there is still a high for Tesla. Tesla still has a high of 566. So there's still analysts banking on it going up. Uh, it's not like everyone's saying it's going to come down here, but there's a lot for Tesla. There's a lot of bears. We know that uh, for Apple, less bears. And you can see that again on, you can see that right on Robinhood. Analyst ratings, you can see right here, there's 36 ratings. Only 19% a buy for Tesla, which is very low and 31% sell. That's a big number to be looking at. Uh, that's almost a third of analysts saying you should sell Tesla. That's pretty big. And for Apple, you have 41 analysts, 41 ratings, and a whopping 61% still say to buy Apple. Uh, and then obviously it's only 10% sell, which is low. There's gonna be people saying to sell because there's gonna be bears in every single stock. So we obviously see that. Um, and then you can see that Apple is coming up on a big uh, cycle of iPhones. They've announced to their they announced to their supplier that they are going to be ready to make 75 million iPhones, 5G iPhones, so the next iPhone, uh, and that is a lot. That is equal to like their iPhone 6 sales or something, which is a very successful launch. And if they sell all those phones, I mean this this stock is going to soar. That's going to be a bunch of money coming in. That's going to be selling a bunch of iPhones, overselling the market expectations. So we'll see what that goes for. I think that they'll probably do pretty well uh, if they're expecting or if they're ordering and making those many iPhones. They're probably expecting all those sales, which will be good for the stock, be good for the company, be good for everyone involved. So, And then obviously compare that to Tesla. There's no big event for Tesla. There's no like big car sales coming out. Uh, but obviously you wouldn't know that unless you, after the fact of them selling the cars for Tesla. So we'll see where Tesla goes, but comparing the two to each other, Apple is just more proven and safer bet to park your money. Uh, and Tesla is a more risky uh, investment where it could explode or it could have a big downfall. So we'll see which way these stocks decide to go. I am invested in both of them, so could be biased, who knows. Do not take financial advice, do your own research and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video.